Before we get into this, you can actually purchase BTT token on the Voyager app. So I have my link in the description below if you're interested. And when you sign up and deposit $100, you actually get $25 in Bitcoin. Hey guys, SuperJR23 here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to mine BTT token using BitTorrent. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go to the link in the description. It'll take you to BitTorrent Classic. You're gonna wanna download this. Click download now on the free plan. You'll go ahead and get this. Okay, so you're going to click next, next, agree, and see this? Don't install it, McAfee. You're welcome. Then click next, and click decline. Then you can do this to your liking up here, and then click next. I'm not going to do it. I already have it installed. I don't want to ruin anything I already have. Something I do recommend is using a VPN when you do this for your safety, because you're going to be renting out your hard drive space. So you don't know what's going to get put on there, so it's best to be safe. So once you do that, you'll have this. You're going to want to click BTFS. It'll take you to this right here. So on this, this is the host setup right here. You're going to want to make a wallet. So to create a wallet, you're going to click create. You're going to type a password, 21. I don't, I don't care about this one. It'll give you this. You're going to want to write these down. You're going to continue. You're gonna do. You're gonna put the shoot. Um, you're gonna put the twelve down here. And match it. it can make sure that you know the order. So I don't. So boom, 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 boom. I'll show you what it does. It's, it could be like nah, bro. This recovery phrase is incorrect. But um, so that's that. After you have the wallet created, you're gonna go to host. You're gonna click host setup. You're gonna click edit, and you're going to dang. And you're gonna select the drive that you would like to use for this but the thing is my drive is not listed your drive may not be listed I'm gonna show you how to list it so to get your hard drive to show up let me show you how it does not show up for me there it's not there my other drives not there only this drive so to fix that you're going to go down here and type drive manager and after you type drive manager it will take you to disk management um okay I don't want to deal with that right now there we go so this is the disk right here that I wanted to use but it's not showing up so you're going to right click it, you're going to analyze disk, and you are going, oh, so it was trying to do it for me already. You're going to just click OK, just like that. After that, you're going to do this, right click over this, new simple volume, next, next, assign the letter you want, um, D's pretty good, that big D, hell yeah, let's go, um, let, let's name it the D, there we go finish perfect so that's what you do the D is now there so once your drives there you're gonna go here here you can go ahead and create a folder in this drive if you want which I'm gonna do it just for neat or just to be neat so I'm gonna go to the D and name it BTT because I want to BTT there we go now refresh that there it is click select confirm now it's gonna say hey how much of this drive do you want to use and this is how much you'll be able to earn every month at most about. We're going to do that. So that this is just me. Um, if you just want your computer to do it in the background, I don't recommend that personally. But go ahead. You, you do you, bro. I'm not telling you what to do. But I'm just going to do that. So I'm going to commit storage. Re and host. And then it's going to wait. Yeah, so we gotta wait about 180 minutes while it validates the node and you refresh every 30 minutes by hitting this button. But a lot of the times it's gonna screw you over and be like, hey, I'm just going to- Oh, it's already done. Great. Good. So great. Okay, it's working. So, that wasn't 30 minutes. You can click this setting icon up here to um, edit the pricing because it's trying to screw me over of my terabyte a month. I don't want it to be that much a month. I, I, I want it to be more like that. Repair mode is a good thing to have on. I'll just say that because it it's a good thing to have on. So pricing updated, that's on. Great. So I don't have a wallet on this, but it's working. And that's how you would do that. And if this video helped you out, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you want me to teach you on how to merge two drives, so this drive and this drive for say, into one drive to use for this, so you can have like 20 drives going and basically you, you still, it, it, it reads as one. So you can actually have 
like 20 terabytes going in this if you really want to make a hell of a lot a month. So let me know if you want to see something like that. I'd be willing to do a video on that. Hope you all enjoyed. Please leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.